Um, hi, so I'm the Rob. I've got a hangover, a bad one, and I'm going to talk about a language called Hi. So say hello to Cuddles the cattlefish. That's our language's virtual mascot. Although she looks more like an octopus, so I kind of prefer this one. She's much more badass. But anyway, so Hi <coughs> is essentially um, a Lisp dialect, a dialect of Emacs Lisp that runs on top of Python. Irresistible combination, but you would ask why. Um, well, the first part is that it's a Lisp dialect, which means that the syntactic sugar, by the way, I love that term, syntactic sugar. The syntactic sugar of Lisp comes on top of Python, which is actually quite interesting once you start going into, say, mathematical co computing, which is something I'm into. Plus the part that there's very, very easy interop between Pi and Python. As you know, Python happens to have a lot of languages for math and science. So, which list doesn't have? I mean, not a lot. Not a lot of other languages have that kind of ecosystem. So it's actually not a bad mix. It feels quite intuitive, uh, but it also has its disadvantages, which I would like to just enumerate before we go any further. Uh, seeing that this is functional con, unfortunately, high is not that functional yet. So things like immutability uh, aren't, don't really exist beyond what Python provides. So if anybody's familiar with Python, um, tuples are an immutable data structure. Apart from that, everything else is uh, mutable. Everything else can change on the fly. Also, Hi does not have monads. There are unofficial implementations. Somebody's trying to port a closure, the, clo the closure languages implementation onto Hi, but it's nowhere near complete. However, having said that, uh, doesn't mean that Hi is not useful. It's got a lot of things going for it, and I hope to enumerate them as we go along further. So yeah, uh, very easy to get started with Hi. Uh, you can just do a pip install. Pip is the Python languages for, uh, library management system. And Hi has a console. It has a REPL. It also comes as an interpreter. And what Hi basically does under the hood is it compiles Hi code to Python abstract syntax trees, which the Python interpreter can then run. So you can also see the interpreter, the generated Python code. You can optimize that further. You can also see the abstract syntax tree. So if you ever want to hack on top of the language, it's a little like LLVM. You know what's going on under the hood. So you can, you know, implement things better. So yeah, as you can see, uh, this slide, this slide syntax. Uh, so let's do a deep dive into it. Like you know, I use this post fix. Uh, sorry, let's do this post fix notation. So uh, this Second level, I used to make this. Now, I'm 